My name is Rick. In the summer of 2020, at the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, I bought an Island Packet 27 sailboat on the San Francisco Bay. Join me as I take my time refitting sailing vessel Frog's Leap with an eye towards taking her to warmer places. Now I get to spend only a few days each month with the boat. That's why I call the channel Marina Queen. Hello everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed the first two episodes of Marina Queen. I'm back in Spokane right now preparing for the next trip, which I'll be taking in about a week. And I just want to let you know, uh, the primary thing that's going to be on the work list is the freshwater cooling system of the Yanmar 2GM20F uh, marine engine. And in this episode, we'll talk a lot about uh, what exactly are the issues uh, that I'm trying to balance? As with everything with boats, you know, you have unlimited wants and limited space. So everything's a trade-off and uh, you'll see the trade-offs uh, that I make with regards to this cooling system. Hope you enjoy the episode. <sighs> Hello. So let me show you what we have. Um, we have this piece show you first. Now this is a 3 8 inch plug for the fresh water system. What happens is there's a fresh water pump that moves the coolant around the engine and there are outlets on this pump that allow you to create an auxiliary loop so you, you can make the system bigger. One of the things that people are real keen on adding is a water heater uh, that is heated from that coolant and Another thing that is common is, not as common as the water heater, but it's common still, is had it having that loop continue into the salon and providing a heat source to heat the salon. You put a fan behind a radiator, run some coolant, hot coolant through it, boom. And so, and actually, Frog's Leap had both of those systems when I bought it. Um, however, it also had some red, red, red flags, red flags. On Frog's Leap, there was this radiator system and they, they, they had to, there was also the, this 5 8 inch pipe was also connected. The problem is, is that brake was right above the alternator, red flags. The return hose and the supply hose that fed that radiator in the salon went right over the battery compartment, red flags. You know, uh, when you buy a used boat, you buy into the previous owner's sensibilities, their preferences, their risk tolerance, red flags. So at some point in the past, somebody prioritized having warmth in the salon higher than being able to have a reliable electric system. Right? So that's, that's a problem for me it came out. So you have two things. You have clear access, but more importantly, you now no longer have the threat of a fluid coming on your batteries. I also noticed that the temperature sender was broken, the wire was not on it. This is the other thing that I bought from Myanmar, and this is the proper heat sender. So on the bottom, this is in contact with the coolant. This gets screwed into the engine. This thing acts as a switch. It closes the switch to ground because uh, it's grounded by its contact with this in, with the engine here. So as a result, there's only one wire that needs to come out of here, and it's the power wire. Because and it's the it's the wire that on the all the way to the other end of the wire is the battery. So it's sending current, closes the switch to ground right there, right. Um, so that's how this thing works. Well, right now, uh, there's an old one in the engine, but this thing is broken off. And so it's not connected to anything. Moreover, you see how this is green? These things cost about 50 bucks, I want to say. So they're kind of spendy for what you get, you know. But if you get the wrong one, like they have brown ones and black ones and they all have dim they're all this switch is all designed depending on the color here designed to trigger at different temperatures so the thermostat 
and the temp sender work together to control the coolant temperature. The thermostat will start opening at 160 degrees and it is supposed to be fully open by 185 degrees. Well, this thing starts triggering at 193. It'll, they say it'll trigger somewhere between 193 and 202 Fahrenheit. Let's take a look at that circuit for a minute. So this is going to be then the temperature sender. Normally, the wire would come off of here. And then it would kind of split off and it would power both the idiot light and also the buzzer. And the way that uh, that this would be done is you would connect the wire and then that wire would go into the bundle. I'm thinking I'm going to go a different route and I'm probably going to put like a five terminal uh, terminal strip down here, right? So it would look something like this. Let's imagine the terminal strip is right here. And I would label this thing as temperature sender because I don't want to go through the loom. I'm doing this for troubleshootability. So I'm going to come in with the wire and attach right here. And then I'm going to have another small wire jump to here. Okay. And what I'm going to do then is I'm going to ha then have this one go to the buzzer. like that, and then I will have the, um, the light in a similar way come out to here and then, and then come back down. Okay, so I've got now the parallel connection with the light and the buzzer. Then what I will do is I will jump these again like this and then I would come out here and connect to the existing wires. I'd probably replace this wire to the fuse just because and maybe I go the whole way I don't know because then you've got the ignition switch here and then that's going to run to the battery. Okay, and then when this sensor senses a temperature between 197 and 202, it's going to close that circuit. And ground in this case is made where these threads connect with the engine. So when that circuit is closed, this switch, this temperature sender, will close the circuit to, to the engine and then you have your ground. So now you've got your complete circuit. Really everything I think should be this way because it's just much more serviceable. You'll see that uh, whatever I do to the boat is going to be done in a manner that makes the whole system more serviceable. That is to say more. Tr I can troubleshoot it more easily. I can get my meter on these, these critical troubleshooting points along the circuit. <clears throat> right now when, when everything's in the loom you don't have that ability. So um, so this is, this is where we're headed. Well, things are starting to warm up here in Spokane, but they're still, uh, cold enough to where we want to have the fire running. Speaking of temperature, I've been fortunate in this, in the, uh, January and February trip, I had, uh, temperatures in the sick mid sixties. Uh, and, and in my January trip, there was a temperature that hit uh, 70 one day. So I've had amazing temperatures during my trips uh, this winter. So fingers crossed uh, this March trip is going to be uh, good as well. Thanks for watching everyone.